This video is about previous video of Alexander Kogushev. I'm gonna refer it in Russian first, and then I go back to English. Дорогой, дорогой господин Кугушев, большое спасибо за ваше видео. Я очень рад, что вы представили это людям. Я тоже уверен, что как-то странно получилось что это видео было удалено, вы его не удали, кто вам, наверное, помог его удалить. И э, я просто прохожу с помощью к вам. Я верю, что вы честный человек. Согласно международным договорам, материал, который был дан публике, потом удален, его в базе данных нету, и он принадлежит к людям. Я хочу оказать свое большое уважение вам и русскому народу. Я думаю, что будет очень полезно, если я помогу всем понять принцип вашей работы. Спасибо большое. Не имеет значения ваша технология, наша технология, моя технология, тарелка капинация технология. Нужно обменение. 2012 год должно пройти. Спасибо. 6.8 миллиарда людей, 10% населения есть возможности это делать. На 20 лет хватит хлеба всем. Я тоже хочу сказать, что я американец, не русский, никогда не был в России. И выучу русский язык в Америке. Из-за этого, что если будут какие-то недоточности, пожалуйста, режите нет. Mr. Alexander Kugushev described this very special transformer that appears that it was patented by somebody else in Ukraine and he was able to find out what is what lies behind it and probably improved it very much as most of the patents does not describe details. This transformer is Transformer was made out of U-shape cores. For example, we take the regular transformer and we connect it to 230 volts of outlet. We will see that the transformer is drawing power from the outlet. Let's keep put, putting these two U shapes back on the core, and now uh, you see that it shows zero zero or uh, point zero zero one of an arm at two hundred thirty volts. Now he moved the U shapes out and now he shows that there is a current on it. Now we close the gap and he shows zero. It looks like we have a four and a half watts for free. Remembering that you see all the time the light is on. So the load is on. Now you see point 34, which is 340 milliamps. Now he's putting the load on it. Now it's uh, 0 0.075 of an amp, so 4.5 watts in and 10 watts out. That's based on his words. The 
transformer can work at any possible condition. Now he's putting another transformer into it. This transformer was made by one of his students for him. And that was the one that actually is more close to the final product. And he's preparing the table and connecting the meters. So you see four U shapes, actually the close O's. And he states that now you can uh, simply calculate how much saving is in dollars or euros on rubles. And then we're going to be talking about the power station and how much the power station can make money. He says that uh, the value of one kilowatt that is to be paid for is zero. He says that the polarization of the cross section of the one that goes through the of the car and the cross section of the one that goes through the whole section of the winding. I'm trying to translate it as close as possible. Now we see ten milliamps on the input. Which I cal calculated was about 2.4 watts. You see the 13 volts, 0 0.02 on the output, and the current appears to be 0.330 milliamps. It looks like 4 watts, that is his words. And on the input you have 10 milliamps, which is 2.4 watts. Actually, I just calculated the output he has 4 point nine watts of drone power so 2.4 well, it looks like over unity based on his words We have a four watts for free. Okay, consumption of the power. 0 watts
and at the load you have 4.6 watts. Then I understand that he's skipping the original drawing, he's just trying to uh, calculate uh, the total gain. Four point six euro per kilowatt hour. Now he switched on another lamp, light bulb, like security. He's trying to calculate right now. With additional load is 8.2 watts of drawing. And again, 10 milliwatts on the input. I'm sorry, 10 milliamps on input. 2.3 watts versus uh, 4 watts, that's what you put on paper. At the final stage, he show 8 watts of drawing with increased load. Um, he just didn't change that on the paper, that's what I understand from that. But of course, the remaining input current was unchanged. I'm going to show you some shots that I have made. Um, you just need to analyze them. I have made them sort of uh, uh, in order pattern. Uh, the original transformer, now he's putting uh, the U shapes in and he is trying to close them. He shows the reading after it's closed is zero amps. Then he is gonna uh, take them away, and now you see the drawing with the load connected. Again, he closed them, and uh, trying to be as correct as possible. There's again the close capture of that regular transformer. Um, Okay, now we see another transformer next to it, made by one of his students. And uh, I don't know if you can see how much the drawing is on the left hand side. Now on the right hand side, there is a voltage in the current drawn with the two lamps connected. Now he's showing again how much the current is, 10 milliamps from 230 volts. He also mentioned that it uh, depends where he catch that uh, he is either having an intervening magnetic flux or not. Now uh, he's again putting on a paper uh, his calculation. Now we see 20 milliamps, no 10 milliamps, that's what he complains about the interfering magnetic field. Uh, he made the statement about 60 coal mines in Poland, how much money they could in millions. Now, for the moment you have seen uh, the drawing of the transformer. Now you see the picture of the transformer. Now this is a special coded wire to decrease uh, the resistance. And this is the original patent patented in Ukraine for somebody else. Although didn't have the details and uh, um, this author was able to find out what is behind it. Now that's the uh, metal that he shows which is uh, a magnetic from one side and diamagnetic from the other side. Actually it's diamagnetic <laughs> uh, from the other side and uh, um, the, that what he says goes inside to alter the magnetic flux of the transformer. One of the bases. 
this again it's not very clear I was just catching whatever I could maybe some of the Russian friends would be able to make a close capture from that and see now you see the material that is magnetic from one side and not magnetic from the other side and this is a powerless generator that is made out of the transformer using no power and assume it is using a, an impulse similar to Tariel Kapinazi concept. Ah, I came to the conclusion that we don't have to use the cores and Kapinazi might be using just a winding to alter the magnetic flux. In this transformer, you make the winding from that red wire, we, what he calls the superconductor, because of the decreased uh, resistance, because of the special coating, and use the special piece of metal, which is magnetic from one side, and you place it where the red line is, um, then you increase the density of the magnetic field, increasing the power of the transformer, making it stronger than nuclear uh, uh, station, of the similar power. I understand that the um, perpendicular extending plate is uh, the insulated, the what you call, and the red line is diamagnetic. And he also says about his plans, as I understand properly, to start to manufacture with a group of people associated with him, this kind of devices. Uh, this is how he showed the diamagnetic and the magnetic from the other side when he flipped it. So the magnetic uh, tape from one side and the from the other side is kind of insulating the magnetic flux. Now what he says is when you put that inside as the red line shown you have to put two of them one doesn't work. And this is his schematic of the powerless uh, at the input power station of the infinite power. The only what he shows the difference between what he explained is that you adding the the, the, the big line which is another uh, ring of the coil. And it's much easier to make it than the, the regular transformer. And he points right now at the places where he says the superconductors are supposed to be used. Don't confuse that with the regular superconductor. That is his wording. And he shows uh, uh, what he's got from United States. And he says that uh, they didn't send him what he wanted to send. And this is the, the shot of his uh, electro power station. And he wants all of his students to find out and understand how it works. <laughs> 